Hi, I'm Chris, owner of Salon Tees. For Expert Village, this is how to create your own iron-on t-shirt. Sometimes we can find rhinestone uh, designs already created for us at uh, art and supply warehouses or art and craft stores uh, such as this one. Or you can find them uh, online at, at various types of uh, uh, transfer places. Uh, these transfers are exactly like the rhinestones that we created before. It's on a mylar paper that is sticky. We simply remove uh, the, sticky, the sticky part of the paper. And as you can see, um, it's got the hot fix glue on the back. And then we just simply place that in the desired location uh, on the t-shirt. Smooth it out. We've got our uh, cooking sheet behind, um, behind the t-shirt, in between the t-shirt and the t-shirt form, so the glue on the back doesn't stick. And now we're ready to begin. Again, I'm using my iron that is on a very, very hot setting um, with no steam. And I'm just simply applying the heat directly to the rhinestones uh, with a good amount of pressure, keeping an even heat distribution. Uh, throughout the entire process and I'll do this for about 30 to 45 seconds uh, to make sure all of the uh, rhinestones have enough heat on them. I'll also, um, once the heat is applied to that, um, I'll let the uh, rhinestones cool for about two to three minutes or at least cool to the touch and then remove the backing of uh, the sticky paper uh, revealing our rhinestone transfer. I keep the iron moving as you can see just to uh, prevent any scorching of the shirt. Um, that way you know I'm not leaving the iron just in one place uh, creating an imprint of the iron itself. So I'll keep doing this for 30 to 45 seconds and then uh, let that cool off and we'll remove uh, the sticky paper revealing our design. I've removed the sticky paper and the t-shirt form uh, along with our cooking sheet off the back and as you can see our rhinestone design is ready to wear.